today i will teach what is biomarker and what is the application of biomarker especially in the geological study or paleo environmental study so this lecture is very helpful for the students of geology this is the topics of biogeochemistry so let's get started what is biomarker basically uh, biomarker is the proxy of for the paleo environment interpretation so uh, we have many uh, biomarker and so far we have established this is the stable compounds of organic matter so the definition is when an organic matter is decomposed by some diagenetic process then some more stable organic compound is produced and they are called the biomarker or the geo biomarker or the molecular fossils or geochemical fossils basically this biomarker can be used in medicine science uh, also because human uh, blood uh, contains too many uh, too many biomarkers uh, this is uh, not our the topics of interest today uh, today we'll discuss the, about the geo biomarker that is the molecular fossils uh, basically this is the part of fossils because uh, uh, we know uh, when uh, some organic matter decomposed uh, in that case uh, some uh, composition uh, is formed and this is called the um, biomarker so this is the tree leaf uh, we know so we see the tree leaf as a green because green light is reflected back uh, to our eyes and some other you know, light is absorbed so we can see under the green uh, light so here is the example of the tree leaf when this tree leaf is decomposed and uh, or uh, this will form uh, some molecules uh, this is called uh, this is uh, mm, this is some mole complex molecule uh, this is this image is basically under the microscope so when these uh, molecules will this is the pigment basically this pigment green pigment when this pigment also decomposed uh, in the in the uh, in the sediment so this decomposition after the breakdown it will form some composition uh, thus elongated long chain or some other complex mo molecules then uh, next time so these molecules basically some other um, process like uh, ox oxic environment or anoxic environment oxic environment means the um, in the absence in the presence of oxygen and anoxic environment is the in the absence of oxygen so this is the tree leaf and this will decompose and make and form the complex molecules so this is the phytol and the phytol also face some oxidation state so when this um, face some oxidation there is a very complex this is the very simplified form uh, this pm pic picture basically and the formation of stable compounds so when the oxygen pro oxidation it will, it will face oxid oxidation and then uh, it will form the pristine uh, whereas um, if this phytol or this complex molecules it face some anoxic environment undergo some anoxic environment and and face some reduction or uh, hydroxylation so it will form the phyton so these uh, this pristine and phyton are the biomarker so here are many other example of pristine for the phyton the phenanthrin the dibenzofuran, and the cattle and written benzofyrin enalkin and c33 enalkin cyclohexane sterine simonolite coronin Thysorinerutin, 2 methylopan. So these are the examples of biomarkers. So let's uh, discuss about how this biomarker can be used in some uh, to explore some paleo environmental events, especially soil erosion events. So in this example, basically we can under we can understand how this biomarker can be used to explore some paleo environmental events, especially uh, soil erosion event. In this example, pristine. We all already know the pristine and phyton is formed from the decomposition of tree leaves so like the pigment or the chlorophyll a so um, these uh, when uh, if this pristine and phyton undergo some oxygen environment oxygen condition so these are the soil maybe soil or maybe marine deposition environment if this value is high so <clears throat> another biomarker is dibenzofuran and phenanthrin so this also indicates the soil erosion events with so another proxy for this um, uh, event identification so another uh, biomarker is cattle and written and simonolite so we know this cattle and written and simonolite is derived from the terrestrial ecosystem like tree tree uh, long um, tree so when this uh, tree collapse or uh, decomposed to zone this cattle and written and simonolite form 
and it will ultimately uh, deposited or preserved in the rock sample so another uh, biomarker is the higher chain nlkn so so these are c30 so 25 to c35 nlkn so these also produced uh, from the other uh, these and nl can higher chain nl nl can also comes from the higher um, vegetation like a tree so uh, these are the molecules so if we find any sample so these are the molecules so if we find many uh, higher in the ratio of these molecules then we can understand that so these are the um, events of a soil return event so toc total total organic carbon also will be very high in the sample so uh, one question might comes from if the first fire the terrestrial ecosystem collapse due to the vegetation collapse or tree collapse so so how we identify distinguish um, the forest fire the terrestrial ecosystem or a meteorite impact because these two also generate too too many heat uh, for the terrestrial ecosystem collapse so here is the solution um, coronin index uh, if we understand the coronin index and how this is formed like coronin index is the ratio of coronin divided by coronin plus benzo a pyrin plus benzo benzo g h i these are the these are all the biomarkers so here is the rule of thumb like more heat the more cor coronin production so if uh, if we face more heat then more coronin will be produced so this this index the higher level high value indicates the uh, meteorite impacts that that means uh, more than um, high temperature uh, than first fire event so so in this coronal index like like the value is specified here greater than 0.8 greater it, it equals to the meteorite impacts it will indicate the meteorite impact another range is 0.8 to 0.5 this is the volcanic eruption also another that is volcanic volcanic eruption that means it will collapse some vegetation or terrestrial devastation like tree or some other big tree another is a 0.5 is greater than forest fire event normal forest fire event vegetation collapse so uh, these are the way uh, we under we identify uh, the forest fire or meteorite impacts so this is the lesson today what is biomarker and how we can apply this biomarker for the forest fire or a meteorite impact or some other paleo environmental interpretation so if you have any question please uh, comments below thank you very much bye bye